Hello and welcome back to Helby's 5A Gaming Channel. I just wanted to do a quick tutorial for you guys about how to force SLI in any game that you want, regardless of having compatibility bits or not. And we'll do the intro here soon, and then we'll get right into it with Profile Inspector. See you guys here in a second. Welcome back. Uh, here's the desktop that I have for doing this. <laughs> Just a fire background, whatever. But you're going to want to get NVIDIA Profile Inspector. I'll have a link for that in the description. So in case you don't have it, you can go get it there. But you want to run it, which ad it requires admin privileges. So here it is. And what you want to do is find the game profile, unless you're going to just do it for everything. If you're going to do it for everything, I'll just use the global as a, as a base to show you. But if you can find the SLI compatibility bits for your game, here's where you would put them. And there is some that are already in here. And then there's some that are compatible based on the engine. Like, Ark uses the Batman Arkham Asylum, or Arkham Stories or something for its compatibility bits because it's the same engine technically. So you would have to just scroll through and find it and that's if you have them. If you don't have them, then you would just do this other step that I'm gonna show you. So you would scroll down to part six or section six, whatever it is. And if you wanna do, where is it? There it is, forcing the actual cards. This is where you would do it. So if you, if you have two or three or four, this is where you would force it. So you'd pick two. If you have dual SLI, if you have triple SLI, then three, quad SLI, four, and so on. And then from there, you would also select the actual rendering mode and force that into the same thing as well for both either DX11 or DX10 and then undefined D DirectX, like if you're using OpenGL, which is the case for Minecraft which is what this was even requested for. So for doing Minecraft, you would actually have to, let me um, go back here and put everything back to default, which now it's not letting me, but then you would search for Minecraft up here, hit enter, and then it would go to the actual Minecraft profile that it has. And if there isn't one, just go up here and click new and then assign the EXE, which there's a ton of them up here. Because now there's a Windows 10 version, the original launcher, the actual EXE, and then you'll actually have to add the Java one here, which I will show you how to do that right now. You would have to go to where Java is installed, and if you're using 64-bit Windows, I would definitely suggest using 64-bit Java for this. And it's right here, and then it would be under your bin files, and it's either this one, the javaw.exe, or the java.exe. So I would just add both of these actually. That way, no matter what, if the game runs, it will pick up on that. See, now it shows that they're up here. And if you want to remove one, you can do it through this menu here next to that. All right. So then you would just go down to the SLI bits again, or the SLI compatibility stuff. And you would select the card you ha how many cards you have for the rendering mode. Because this is, this is what basically forces NVIDIA's driver to select what, how many cards it uses. And then this is what it selects for to doing the actual frame rendering when you're playing the game. So then you have the X10 version. So if you're running the Windows 10 beta, uh, Minecraft of Windows 10 version, which is DX10 or 11, I think. I think it's DX11. You would have to do it on here as well. See how it has just no DX10 or anything here. So this is forcing it in DX10 mode, this is forcing it in any other mode, which is probably OpenGL, which is the default for Minecraft anyway. So then you would do that. Now, if you're having issues with the game not rendering properly, like you're getting frame drops or frame skips or anything like that, you can always come down here and select the type of mode. And you'd also have to do this for the Windows 10 version here under the DX10 line. And I think when I used to do this, it was AFR2, so it would alternate frame rates on each card so each card would try to do the every other frame um afr1 is the first version afr2 is the second version and then you have single frame rendering and then you have the fallback which not too many games really use it's it's just in case there's rendering issues 
But yeah, that's all you would do. And then you would apply the changes. And then once they apply the changes, you would launch the game and check it out. I can't do that for you because now I'm not running dual cards. I'm only running a single card and it's a 1080. So I can't really show you the SLI working. But my previous video, which I'll have in the description as well, is the one that actually shows on and off the, the frame rate differences plus uh, being in full screen and not full screen. And that one also uses the same method here. But this is on, that was on a way older version of Minecraft. I think 1.10.1 or .2 is out right now for doing this video. So if you want to do it on the older versions, then that's the way you would do it. Like if you're running, say, Feed the Beast or something that always runs like uh, one or two updates older. So that's all I got for you guys. Uh, I guess I just want to say, you know, check me out on Twitter. I'll have links for all the social media down in the description. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And also come check me out on Twitch. I'll have a link for that in the description. And, you know, stop by, say hi, or give me a follow over there or whatever you want to do. Check out my uh, info there because I got a lot of info for, like, the servers I'm playing on, the games I'm playing, stuff like that. So you guys can actually come join me. Plus, I have a Steam group. I'll have a link for that as well. And that way you guys can hop in there and communicate with me and play games with me as well. Like some games we like Dead for Daylight, Dead by Daylight. I actually send invites through that Steam group so I don't have to add everybody. But it's it's not a thing against you guys. It's just a thing that makes it easier so I can have everybody in there that wants to play and then just invite random people or do a queuing system. So yeah, come check me out on Twitch and I'll catch you guys later and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching my video. If you want to follow me on Facebook or Twitter, click the links on your screen. If you're not subscribed, click that skull and get subscribed, and I'll catch you in the next one.